Hello, and welcome back to Farm Simulator 22 Let's Play Court Farm. I'm your host, Fields and Skylines, and welcome back. Uh, we are in April. Not much going on in this month. We do have um, some fields we need to put some herbicide on, and we do have some cows that need feeding. Well, they need some water. And then we also have um, a new purchase to show off. Uh, it was more out of necessity than... I didn't really want to have to buy it, but because the van, now let's do it now. We bought this to haul stuff around. It's a little big, but this ginormous van that I bought, when you would fill it up full, it could only go about five miles an hour. So it was useless. So I'm hoping this, with the bigger engine, will have no problems carting everything around. Although I don't think I'll be able to do everything in one load like I would have with the big cargo van, but it'll work, hopefully. So let's jump back. Oh, that's exactly what vehicle I wanted to be in. How lucky is that? So, like I said, today we've got some herbicide to do. We've got to water the cows down below. Um, we should probably check in on some other stuff. Questions are like, so like I was looking at clothes, and it looks like May they're going to go up a little bit more. Um... But we are getting some pretty good prices right now. But I think I'm going to hold off to sell the clothes until May. And see what happens. Hopefully we'll be able to get, um, you know, still that good price. I already picked up milk, picked up wool. Um, there's nothing to sell from the dairy. Although I think because we're getting this so much, I might start thinking about selling the dairy every day. Um, just to be a little easier, not too sure what we're going to do there yet, though for sure or not, um, we'll have to make a decision after next month. Um, but like I said, today we just have to herbicide our new field and then the two, um, field bean fields. And then we'll be in pretty good shape for, uh, field work today. Right, so what track do we want to use? I think I want to use the Massey. I love the Massey. Alright, we should probably wash some of our equipment too. So I'm just gonna hook up to... Oh uh, yeah, this needs to get washed first. Can't see out the window. Should get washed. So we'll hook up to the herbicide, we'll, we'll grab some of our herbicide down at the bottom of the farm, and then we will spray our fields. Probably should do this after we've herbicided, but why not start the day with a fresh tractor? But we'll get those three fields sprayed. Shouldn't take too long. Um, spraying's pretty quick. Although that new field is a little bit larger, so we'll see. Up. Right. Let's go ahead first though. Let's take a look at all of our animals just to see. We may have to sell some. I don't know. I haven't checked on their prices yet. Uh, but as you can see, the sheep up at the other farm, uh, they need a little bit of water. But otherwise, they are pretty good. I don't know why it's showing so much wool when I picked it all up already. It's weird. This game has been weird with some of these dialogues because, like, it shows these cows are zero percent productive. There's no milk. I picked up the milk. Um, I don't know why the productivity is zero. They're fully fed. They have enough water. They're healthy. So that's something we need to keep an eye on. Here, everything looks all right. They just need some straw blown, but not really. And the sheep up here, again, everything is looking good. They could use just a touch of water, but they'll be all right if we don't water. Um, so yeah, so we're good to go. We have all 200 cows that we need in this pen. Might be some ready to, yeah, we have some cows we could probably sell off. So 
so we'll have to take care of that too in a little bit. So it's showing that we have already some herbicide in the sprayer, so I'm just gonna go off and start spraying the new field. Um, looks pretty good. We planted in some oats because we wanted to do a double crop. We can harvest it about the same time. And then right after we're done harvesting, we should be able to plant in some rye or something like that. So let's go ahead and turn the crop sensor on. Let's go ahead and unfold. Go ahead and turn this on and start spraying. So yes, that's about all we have to do in this episode. Um, we don't have any grass that needs cutting or any alfalfa that needs cutting or any fertilizing that needs to get done. I haven't seen it spray anything. I don't know how this field could be without weed take a look maybe it doesn't have any weeds because they plowed it before we bought it boom 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 and I jumped over one yeah look at that there's no weeds in this field that's unbelievable Let's go ahead and fold this back up and let's go find another field to spray. So that just tells me that the game before we bought it probably did a plow on it. So that could really harm the uh, score we get for precision farming, but um, it'll be alright. So we'll have just two fields to do and more time to care for the animals in this episode. But yeah, like I was saying, next month it's really just a selling month. Uh, we won't have any um, work on the farm to do. Like if we look down here, um, July is going to be a busy month for us. Uh, you know, May, we might have some grass June we might have some alfalfa but those two months might just be like um combined into one because may we just do probably a sell-off in animal care and uh June would just be you know animal care and maybe doing some alfalfa like this last season because we're in a good spot, we don't necessarily, like, because we aren't on going on after, we don't need to keep stocking up silage or alfalfa for, for sale or for um, feeds. We have, we have pretty much enough alfalfa. Silage we might need another cut, but um, right now we're in pretty good shape. In fact, we might do the May sell-off as part of this episode, since this one's going to go fairly quick now that we only have these two little fields to spray. So yeah, I think we're going to jump into a quick time lapse here, um, just to get these fields sprayed and taken care of, and then uh, I'll I'll cut back in when we are done with the work. I'll see you guys all shortly.
don't remember if the sheep need water or not, but you know the cows did. Um, so we're going to go ahead and water the cows. I do like this little trying here, it's kind of fun. Let's go ahead and wait. sell the, the fabric, we'll sell um, the cheese, the butter, all that stuff, and then I will take care of refilling everything off camera. Uh, we will have to figure out how we're going to pay money for a lease. I have an idea. I think, I don't know if I have it the mod loaded, but if we go to the store, big bags, I think I have some big bags I can buy that, like, um, they're not loaded. But I have a mod. Maybe it's under pallets. That you get, like, a liter of stone for, like, 10 grand or 20 grand. And we'll just buy a bunch of those and pretend it's a lease. But I'm going to have to load that mod. So I won't have that ready. Maybe for next time if I remember it. So I think also we might want to take a couple bales over by the cows. I know there's a few there, but they're both pretty. There's three, I think there were three there the last time I was over here. Two of them are almost empty. So we might need to take a bale or two over by the cows. We're probably gonna also need, where are the cows up here? We're gonna need probably 50, 60,000, so 50, Probably two, maybe three of these water jugs. Um, so we'll go ahead and deliver. Oh, I know, this little tractor struggles a little bit with some of this heavier stuff, but it doesn't have far to go, which is why I'm alright with it and I'm not upgrading it. Whereas, like, Delivering stuff to sell, you're going pretty far on the map, four or five miles an hour. That unloads, we can check on these bales. So, this one has. 1800 liters. This one has 1400 liters. And that is full 25,000 liters. So, again, I don't know why it shows the cows. Productivity is now 7%. I don't know. I 
do need more water. So I'll fill this up again. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll take care of the water in here uh, in a jump cut, in a jump cut up to May. So I will see you all when the work is done in May. So I'll see you all in a bit. And we're back. So we are in May. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is gather all the clothing and we're going to take it up and sell it. We should get a lot of money this month because we have a lot of butter, a lot of cheese, and all oh, this clothing is going to make it come It's going to make it come So auto load this up. Hopefully it auto loads clothing. Oh, come on. There we go. Just had to get in the right spot, I guess. So I don't know what that is. Lots of clothing to sell. I don't know if there's any more. Let's go ahead and take a look at productions. Fabric. All right, so we have all of it. So we have 13,000 liters. Oh, I don't have all of it. We have 14,000 liters to sell at about eighteen thousand five hundred dollars per thousand so that is going to put us over 200 grand in just fabric or shirt sales alone and then we'll have to come back and get butter and we'll have to come back and get cheese and then we'll have to deliver some milk oh my goodness We're going to have a good month. So that means we can maybe think about, I don't know, saving our money for the castle. We're not going to have to get enough money for the castle. That's $9 million. We'd have to play a couple more seasons to get that. Um, however, I don't know, we could buy other stuff or we could upgrade equipment, get more tractors. I don't know. I really don't know. We really don't need anything. We're full of our cows. It's Full up on cows and full up on sheep. And maybe I could find another sheep pen so we can get more wool so we can produce more clothes. But I'm not really sure where I could get another sheep pen. I know I can't just pop one down on this pen because it says there's already too many. So yeah, I, I would, maybe we could get some chickens and start doing eggs. But really, at this point, we're just trying to get through the rest of the season and, and get through. Right, so I missed where I'm going. I'm going right over there. Turn. Go right here. And watch that dollars, those dollars go up. There you go. Um, environmental score tw almost twenty-seven thousand, and sold product two hundred and sixty thousand. That is not too bad for you know, some sheep eating some alfalfa, drinking some water. Right, I think we will do the butter next, and maybe I might kick this off into a time lapse rest of the selling. Um, comment down below and let me know what you think we should do with our money. 
Uh, should we buy stuff? Should we try to buy the castle? Maybe just have me one day just jump through a bunch of months doing animal care type stuff. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if we're going to go through buy the castle, I will need to do some harvesting of grass and alfalfa. But let me know. But for now, I'm going to do a quick time lapse, and I will see you all when the selling is done. All right, everything's sold. We did pretty well. Um, now it's just time to take care of some animals, and then we can probably call it an episode. So one thing I think I'm going to try to do is tip over the tractor. Look at that. And then after I'm done tipping over the tractor, uh, I'm going to look for some mods. I was trying to think if... Um, so, like, if we look at the trucks, I don't have a lot of the um, more European semis. And I don't know if they have a mod that's similar. Like, with the uh, TLX, you know, you can turn them into just, like, what I did there. Like, what I we have to do our delivery. But I was wondering if there was, like, a... mod that I could do something like that with like one of you know a more European style man type truck um, so I'm going to look for some of those mods to see if there's one like that um, that I think would help you know and then swap out what we have and then make it a little bit more viable for this map or usable on this map. Not that what we have isn't, but it's definitely a very American looking uh, truck than really a um, European. The other thing I gotta do is find those deductions so that we can deduce uh, duct uh, leasing fees of the sheep pens since that contract technically is up. Nope. Too late. We're stuck with it. All right. So yeah, so we have to take care of these cows. Uh, we gotta feed them. Throw some straw in here. Uh, definitely will need. I'm mucking out, it looks like. Uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of manure in here. I don't know how much is in the pen. We may have to deliver some down to homebrew. Oh, we still have a little bit of room there. Uh, so we have to feed these cows, and we also have to feed and water the cows over uh, the other farm, the other farm will also probably need, like, I think the sheep are pretty okay. They might need a bale. So we'll look up here. Yeah, food is pretty good. They definitely need water. The cows down here are up productivity back up to 100. So that's good. Definitely need a lot of water. And they need a little food. So we can take some bales over to them. And I might take some more silage bales over there just in general these cows definitely need a bale maybe two and i'm blowing straw right now slurry's getting a little full we're gonna have to move some slurry and the sheep over here food is they probably need a bale water's all right um i don't know if i have any bales up here for the sheep I do, it's, they're floating. So let's go ahead and just nudge them a little bit. Oh, how did I do that? And let's go ahead and maybe nudge this one kind of back. I don't know how I'm moving these, but all of a sudden I can move bales. Um, it's a miraculous day. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, they're back to full. So they might need a little bit of water in a little bit, but we're good. We don't have any bales up here? I don't know how many we have down on the bottom. Now, can I lift the bale right now? 
lift this. Oh my goodness, I can lift bales. Who knew? Um, I wonder why. I don't know. Maybe there's a mod I have or something. I don't know. I don't recall. I definitely don't want to put it in behind the tractor. But maybe I will put it like... Right there. We'll probably... You know what? If I go here... Do that... Like jump to this, do that, and I can back up since I'm done with the straw. And we'll just put that down, back there, and then to back to there. Make sure this is full with straw though. Yep. So Looks like that bale is ready to fall off, which is scary. Plenty of hay. Definitely plenty of hay. Oh. Let's go down and see how many. So we have three up here. So that's like three, four, five, about five months, four and a half or so, five, five months of food up here. And then I know we have six bales at the other farm, but we're going to drop three of them in. That should work for this, the rest of this month and into next month. So we'll have to see what we have down here. Yeah, I'm going to take... We're going to take three of these up to the top farm, even though they're not really needed. When I say top farm, I mean the farm up here. And I think I'm going to get the trailer out, load up six or nine. I'll take three of the silage more up top. Whoa. I am just nailing it today. Go through the hedge. Always safer to just go right through that hedge. Um, but yeah, I think I'll take these three up here. I'll also take three silage up here. Uh, maybe I'll get six silage up here and just take the rest of the silage over there. And then we will do a cut maybe next month. June. We'll probably cut everything. Maybe not the alfalfa. Plenty of alfalfa. I don't know what I'm stuck at. I am just having some difficulties today. Goodness. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I think I will uh, next month definitely cut grass to get some more silage made. Um, I don't think we're going to have a problem. Maybe in the later months it'll be close. I definitely don't need alfalfa. So let's see how much silage we have. I didn't actually count. I just saw that there was a big trail of bear, uh, bales in there. Uh, so let's take a quick look. Three, six, 15. All right. So I think I'll take three up top. Eight, there's one, 15. 16. All right, so we'll take three up top. Um, I'm just going to jump to the other farm real quick and see. We have plenty of grass, hay for the sheep, and then I think we have like two months 
left of silage right here. And that didn't work. Alright. Yeah, this is about two months or so. So yeah, we'll take I'll take three up top and the rest I will take over to the other farm. Ugh. Where do I want to take three more? Let's take one more peek. So there were six at the other farm. And that goes through three or so a month. So that's two months, three months, four months, five months. So yeah, I'll take all of it. These three will go up top. We'll take the rest of it up there. And then we really just have to do one more cut just to be safe. Um, and we definitely don't need to do any more cuts of alfalfa. I don't know if we can make alfalfa silage. I don't know if that's a thing. No idea if you just take alfalfa and wrap it, if it just becomes silage. No idea. So we're just gonna drop that right there. Let's go get the trailer. And we'll get these delivered up. So I think that is where I'll probably leave this video though. Um, let me know down below in the comments for a good European delivery truck that has auto load. I'll be looking in the mods for one. Um, I'll also get those deductions in there. Uh, but yeah, we're sitting pretty good. We have half a million, almost 600,000 in loot. Where is my trail? Oh, it is pretty back pretty far. Wow. So we have 600,000 almost in money, which is pretty good. Um, even after we do do a swap, I think we'll still be in pretty good shape for uh, for money. Um, we're making some pretty good money on uh, our dairy cheese and butter that's about 100 grand um every two months so and then like the clothing again is unbelievable and i think in june we have to sell some uh some field bean yeah i have 22,000 liters and June definitely looks like June we're selling some field bean next month so I'll give us you know pretty good 44 you know somewhere around 40 50 thousand 50 thousand dollars not too bad not too bad at all so we go ahead with this I'm going to look around that other farm and see if there's a better place to store the silage just than in that one bunker there, um, closer to the cows where they're eating, just to be a time saver. And I might put down another water spigot closer to the cows so that um, don't have to go so far, because it's going to be two to three of those water containers a month and that driving back and forth. I know it's not that bad, but just a convenience thing. Especially, I am kind of thinking about buying the castle, so if I'm going to do that, I think it's something kind of close. There we go. 
I think that's all of them. Hook up here. And we'll drive this up to the top farm. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to leave the video here. Um, let me know in the comments about mods or if we should try to buy the castle uh, or what else, anything else. Um, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you are not a subscriber to the channel and you are enjoying my content, um, please, please subscribe. Uh, it helps keep me motivated and also uh, more people interact, interact, to be interactive with, to give me help. So please do that. And as always, uh, thank you for watching. Um, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.